if Narendra Modi tomorrow was to express regret and remorse, apologize for Gujarat 2002, then perhaps this debate would be over. Then we would judge Narendra Modi on what corporate India is judging well, him on, uh, on his ability to attract well, investments, on his dynamism, on his efficiencies. You see, the problem is that Congress is scared of Narendra Modi. They are, they are scared of his popularity. And therefore, if even if for a moment, if I assume that he apologizes, they will find something else. Now he says he can't set foot in the United States. Oh, sorry, uh, the point is, if he can set foot anywhere in India and win people's confidence, that no, no, but you me, can't be prime minister of the country and not have a uh, uh, have a visa. Uh, to Rajneet, 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 we know, Rajneet, we know what Americans Rajneet, do. They will change the chief their, minister of Gujarat. Their you, you believe they will change they will their view change if he was a BJP they, candidate Rajneet, or prime minister? Americans, Americans have backed tin pot dictators all over the world, so even Rajneet, they have the no, chief no of Gujarat issue is in of the company of Kurt Waldem, who was a acknowledged Nazi. He is in the company of Milosevic. And he's in the company of all those people, uh, you know, people like Noriga, because of their human rights records, who have okay. not been allowed to set foot okay. in, in various other countries. You know, and, and, and let the me political debate is a bit predictable, but I, I, I just want to move to the corporate debate for a moment. So I'll say, as a representative who's close to corporate India, you've seen the manner in which corporate India has endorsed Narendra Modi. You yourself wrote an effusive piece not too long ago about Narendra Modi's uh, abilities to galvanize uh, a corporate India. Are you seeing, therefore, in a sense, the arrival of Narendra Modi, or is corporate India missing the wood for the trees? That uh, that being prime minister is about values, not valuations. Well, thank you for using my phrase, but uh, let me address two quick questions. One, what Manish said: in India, you can't predict the prime minister. No one ever imagined that we'd have to suffer Deva Gowda, or for that matter, Inder Gujarat. I think the bigger point is: has Narendra Modi, as a brand, moved? from the Godra needle to a transformational role? The answer is yes. Does he galvanize corporate India? The answer is yes. Because his administration is largely believed to be honorable, not corrupt, and very, very efficient. These are the realities of the man. I'm not for a moment condoning what happened in Godra or, 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 the, or the eventual impact. I think judge a man in, in his complete. So what is transformational? What is so transformational you believe in Narendra Modi? Three things. One is, he has been able to attract investment. Now, there'll be this huge debate, but has the investment actually flown in? The fact is, in, recess, in recessive times, he puts up a vibrant Gujarat, gets every industrialist worth his salt. Number two, I think the way he's run the administration, there has been no, no mention, there's been no slur on, on the track record of the administration. Third, he is truly inspirational for the people of that state. I mean, you know, the Congress and the BJP. Look, I don't care about either the Congress or the BJP. Let me tell you, the man has won two elections. And Manish rightly said okay, that me, one billion, no, no, that five industrialists no, don't you, make you a prime minister. Point. Let me no, no, one minute. Huh. There's a bigger point. Five industrialists don't make it a prime minister. But our prime minister currently, who's an honorable man, has not been elected either. Okay, this is okay. okay. Let, okay, let, let me expose you. Let, no, let, let's come yes. back to the, the track record of governance of the chief minister of Gujarat. And let me expose the myth for what it is. Gujarat today is the most indebted state in the country. A lakh 20,000 crores in debt, which means an average Gujarati has a per capita debt of 20,000 on his head. The highest uh, you know, unemployment in Gujarat is up ever since Modi came. 62,000 small and medium enterprises have closed down. So in you're the, saying in he's not an day. inspirational figure. Not a, at all. I mean, B, he's not a figure who's, who, uh, who's provided Rajdeep, the kind of Rajdeep, clean Rajdeep, governance. Rajdeep, you're not a, willing to accept Rajdeep, the... look across the board on every parameter, whether it is a social parameter or an economic parameter, Gujarat has actually gone down. And winning elections does not condone he's, crime. He's attracted MOUs worth a whopping 12 lakh crore or for $241 me, billion dollars me, let, in a recessionary let time. Let me also tell you that 2002, 2000, 2005, 2007, vibrant Gujarat, only 23.52% of the MOUs You're saying it's a statistical jugglery? It's, 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 it's a facade. It's, it's, yeah, it's a facade. It's a facade. It's a facade. It's a facade. We can either be in denial that the man does no good, which I think is a silly premise to, to place the argument on. We oh, accept that, that he does that, that, that he does some good. Perhaps it's, it's marketed course, well, yeah. but he does some good. Would you at least well, concede he's that? he's a good exhibitionist. He's, he's a, a good, good exhibitionist. He's a good exhibitionist. See, this is a typical... I don't want to get into this political thing with Congress and BJP. The fact of the matter is, industrialists rarely agree on many issues. All industrialists across the spectrum agree on him. They industrialists think, are self-interested. These are all industrialists who want to invest in Gujarat. But Rajni, why would an industrialist want to invest in Gujarat if the atmosphere in Gujarat was I'll, not... I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why. Okay. I'll tell you why. Simple. And, and, okay. let's use it I'll tell you why. And, and he is a great marketing example. guy. He is a great marketing guy. I'll give you the nano example. 
for every nano car which is manufactured. 60,000 rupees has been contributed in terms of concessions by the Gujarat Treasury. Sunil Mittal also, to be fair, said that, look, we, like we run our companies, this guy runs a state. So he's a great CEO. What is the CEO supposed to be responsible for? He's responsible to stakeholders. What about his social citizens? vision? What about the CEO? Sohail, he's a CEO, Sohail, he's a CEO Sohail, of a state, Sohail, like a CEO Sohail, of a company. The corporate I, I leaders wanna, of India. So then the corporate wanna, leaders of India move. should have looked at his rec track record of governance. And the, and the facts speak otherwise. Okay, let the, the, the facts do not, the money, facts the do not testify. Gujarat have looked at the, at the facts of... They've the elected order. him twice. Yes. Okay, let me, let me just I mean, bring... Okay, let me just... Okay, I, I just want to bring in a voice.